What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris back with you guys. I know you're probably going, oh my God, it's about time. It's been a, been a couple of weeks at least. But you know, just to let you guys know, I haven't disappeared. In fact, we're rocking, still rocking this thing, even whether we're doing videos or not, we're still trying to get the truth out, and I'll explain to you in a second. Um, but I also have, uh, on my own leisure time, I'm an avid uh, uh, shortwave listener, which I can listen to uh, you know, radio stations around the world, um, so on and so forth, as well as uh, you know, uh, listening to local scanner, stuff like that. And you can see right here, I've, um, you can, there's a shortwave radio right here. My unit and scanner here, and then my uh, Yezu Foxtrot 7100, or the FT 7100, if you will. This is a 2 meter 440, as well as MERS, which I modified for. Um, and the scanner, like I said, I mean, listen to everything from police. You guys know this uh, police, fire, EMS, uh, military. And of course, you'd have to look for your area of if, what frequencies that would be in. Uh, and of course, like I said, I listen to, you know, around the world uh, on my shortwave, which is also, uh, this is good for shortwave as well. So I'm listening to. You know, uh, you know, other uh, ham operators around the world, um, you know, all different music from around the world, news broadcasts. I'd rather listen to that than the watered down crap we see here in the States, uh, the CNN and Fox fake news and all this other BS. And like I said, on the scanner, I'd like to listen to, um, uh, believe it or not, we have uh, uh, even school buses. I mean, you go, what the heck would you want to listen to a school bus for? Well, my son actually is, is on the school bus. And it's not only that, but they're out and about, and they can tell you when there's accidents, too, before the police even announce it. So uh, it's good to have that as well. But anyway, that's not the only thing. That's just my leisure time. I like farting around with that stuff. Actually, you can see, see my other computer. I got over here. It's just a tip of the keyboard. Because this is like a five-foot bench, so I got a bunch of this stuff on here. Um, but anyway, also, what I've been doing on the side was, um, and you guys can schedule this yourself. Mock this down every Saturday, 4 p.m. If you can make it, it would be awesome. Because on uh, Saturdays, every 4 p.m. Eastern Time, that's where I'm in the Eastern Time Zone, um, uh, me as well as uh, Thomas, which is the host of the show, and there could be anywhere between three to about eight of us, depending on who's on at the time. Um, and we get on and we describe. What we'll do is we'll take a, the Gigapans, and you guys know what the Gigapans are. It's like they'll take like a... Um, uh, a bunch of photos from a particular sow and just stitch them together, which uh, Neville Thompson does a great job of. And again, we call him the uh, the Gigapan master or guru. Um, and what we'll do is we'll scrutinize it. But here's the cool part. You guys get to go on there and comment what you think you see. Uh, if you've got questions about what's going on, what you think is going on, a theory maybe you have, uh, what is going on. Uh, and like I said, just join us for it. It's live. That's the cool part. Now, there is a 20-second lag between what we're t when we're talking and then 20 seconds later, you guys hear it. So it's kind of hard for you to go, hey, look, that rock on the side. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to do that because sometimes we've already moved on from that particular area. So you can be, if you want, you can be more descriptive. Hey, what about that rock you talked about? What about that piece on the left-hand side? But anyway, you get to share it anyway, and you get to look it over like we're doing real time. So anyway, you can join us for that. But if you want to, go to my buddy uh, Thomas's page right here. Mars Moon Space TV, and you can see it right here. Uh, you guys can check that out. You can see this is the last video we did. It's, it says two days ago, but that's because we did it in the evening time at 4 p.m. my time. So, therefore, it won't say three days ago until 4 p.m. So, anyway, guys, check that out. You can uh, either sub to them if you like. You can also, um, uh, even if you don't want to sub to them, that's fine too, but sub to them. And this way you can get the, you can get to see these all, every single um, uh, Saturday at 4 p.m. I think it even has a reminder that it is going to be live and so on and so forth. So join us for that. I think you guys will like that a lot. So anyway, let's move on. I don't want to take too long on this particular one. This guy is, I swear to God, wow. Uh, it, it's just one of the many things that is just awesome here. Um, I'm going to show you that right now. And you can see this right here. It is from NASA JPL or Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And you can see this photo right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool little uh, photo. From Sol 1589, and of course you can click right here on the full resolution, and we can check that out. Go ahead and uh, zoom in, and you can see this. I mean, there's a couple anomalies here. I think you guys really want to get these, get your magnifiers out, get your, your jeweler's loops, uh, your eye loops, as well as your magnifier. And you can see the smaller one in there, right there, which is more magnification. Get these things out, guys. If you don't believe me, just check these things out for yourself. And you're just going to be like, what? Because half the things they'll paint, and half of it, sometimes they make a mistake and don't. I believe a lot of these things are being put in there, or left in there, if you will, because they'll modify, and you'll see this, what I'm talking about in a second. They'll obfuscate some things, and then some things will leave in plain sight. And they go, people go, and I don't blame you. Guys, ask a great question. Why manipulate one part of the photo and not the other? 
It's simple to me. I think it's nothing more than soft disclosure. Um, and it's just their way. With, they're using us as pawns to get this out so people are more desensitized to the fact that there may actually have been life or is life on Mars. So people don't get all totally freaked out one day if they mention it. And people go, oh, my God, there's something majorly going on here. So this is the reason why I believe they're doing this. Now, let's jump out of that. And I'm going to go into Photoshop. And here we go. Here's the photo. Um, I want to show you guys a couple of things that I just thought was pretty interesting. Now, to me, and I'm going to tell you what this looks like. So it gives you an idea of the shape of what I'm talking about. This reminds me of a rooftop of a car. Now, whether this is the windshield, or my friends like to say the windscreen in the UK, um, or the back window, doesn't matter. It looks like that window, and then you've got one, two windows. And it looks like this piece sticking out looks like something like the pillar is what they call it, uh, which is basically separates as that piece of metal that uh, separates the front and rear doors. You know, there's got that piece of steel. And it looks like it's been caved in or crushed. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I'm seeing as far as shape-wise and what it may, uh, what it kind of looks like to me. So you can, guys can check this stuff out. Now, all of this crap here, complete trash. All of this right here, obfuscation. It's manipulation at its finest. Uh, and you guys can see that for yourselves. We've been over this a 100 times. Check this out. Looks like a giant Dorito sticking out. <laughs> I'm sorry, just for lack of a better word. This, this big pointy piece sticking out. But guess what? When you look at this, it has a shadow in here. And the bottom piece seems to echo and show the same shape as the top piece. Okay, so is this really a mountain or is it or a hill? Or is it being dressed up to look like one? It's being dressed up to look like one. And you're going to see a video I'm got coming up where, you know, in the, in the um, title to that one's going to be, When is a Butte Not a Butte? And you're going to see what I mean by this. This is wild. You're going to like this. Now, stuff over here, just, again, look at it in its, its raw form, meaning just click on it from NASA. Don't try to zoom into it. Or you can if you want to, but get out the, the, your, your eyepieces and just skim over the top of the screen. And look at the back side of this where this is right here. And I'm going to show you this right here. Right in the back, all this right, look at the, the details and the, the stuff that looks like it's laying on the side of this so-called hill, if you will. But come on, check this out. Now, this is not the part I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. This is going to blow your mind. Okay, so let's back out a little bit here. This is where, oh, this is what I'm talking about. This to me, you see it right there? Check this out. It looks like no rock in, its, in the area. It's in the shade, and it looks like one of those old CCD cameras. has a white housing, and it has what looks like an eye in the middle of it. Now, let's check that out. What the hell does that? This is clearly not a rock. It's clearly not a rock. And you can look again, get a better perspective. And this is, I believe, this is the mask hand, because you can see it's quite high up. And I'm going to guess that this is probably 30, 40 feet away tops. Because we're not seeing the actual deck of the rover. So I'm going to guess, you know, it's probably 30, 40 feet away. Now, again, that's only a guess. And, of course, this is just nothing more than speculation, what I believe this item is. But when you see this, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like some kind of CCD camera with an eye. Now, I'm going to zoom in for the people. Now, this is the raw photo. I haven't done a thing to this, guys. I'm going to zoom in for the people who have these smaller devices so you guys can get a better look. But what I also want you to check out while I get it zoomed in, check out this obfuscation. Check this out. Perfect straight line going across. I think what they're doing is they're mimicking compression artifacts because people will say, well, no, that's compression artifacts. And you can see these artifacts right here. But a lot of them is not artifacts. This stuff, I believe, is overlaid, and then they can just... Click, 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 and then they can just put out and obfuscate anything they want. Why do I say that? Well, you can see what over here looks like this little piece of white coming from this piece, but also faintly you can see something right here. So what I did was I tried to burn away this piece, this area right here, to find out if there is, in fact, anything behind it. And I think you'd be surprised what it is. So this is the zoom in one, This is which I just basically just add a little more pixels here so we can actually zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to just back up just to here. Check this out. Now, I went, took all the crap color off, uh, as my buddy Will likes to say, baby puke or baby crap uh, color. But again, you can still see this line of BS, if you will, obfuscation. Now, what I do is I lightened up the photo to find out if there's anything under there. So we want to have, we want to have shadows. We want to lighten up the shadows if you can. And check this out. One, two, but there's something right there that's also white. Now, let's back out a little bit so it's not too grainy because I know a lot of you guys are watching on the bigger screens as well as the smaller ones. But check this out. Now, I started to burn this away slowly to see if we could find anything behind it, if this, in fact, does keep going. Now, 
Here we go. Okay, hold on a minute. Check this out. It, it appears to actually like one leg goes back, one leg goes forward. And again, you can see this right here a little bit. I'm going, what the hell? Something started to show up here too. So I said, okay, let's keep going with it. Let's see what we find. Okay, now it's more defined. You can see something that almost looks like there's a hole right there, but check this out. Almost like a like a U shape, almost like a boomerang, but not in that perfect 90 degree, if you will. Um, it has that weird U shape and it's connected to over whatever the hell this is, but check this out. Check this out, guys. What the hell does that? It clearly looks like some kind of instrument or some kind of intelligently made object. And again, why are they leaving this here but actually obfuscating the bottom of this? Why do that? And again, I think it's it's soft disclosure. It's letting people see what's really there periodically. But check this out. And I've said this a hundred times. This stuff here, and I'm going to show you, it's going to get even better and better when you guys check this stuff out. These are not buttes. Now, I'm not saying there can't be or no hillsides. Don't get me wrong on this. What I'm saying is I'm going to show you the background of this mount shop again, and it looks like stuff is laying literally all over the ground here, and they're not just rocks. You can see shapes like silhouettes, if you will, of uh, you know the lines of these said objects through the manipulation. So you just go, what the hell? What are they doing? Why are they there? And I'm going to tell you what. They're not there to look at rocks. They're not there to... Uh, you know, see if it's going to be good for the astronauts. Yeah, they might be doing that, but for a whole different reason. I believe I believe that they're, there, they're going to be more hands-on. Instead of having the rover drilling and picking, you know, because it can't just take a take an object and just sit there and study it. It just drills into it maybe to see what comp composition is of steel. Um, you know, it can, it, it, you know, it's got its own um, uh, abrasion tool, which they call the RAT, uh, the rock abrasion tool. They can just literally dust off or whatever they can do. Um, I mean, they're analyzing, but it doesn't have fingers. It can't just sit there and hold it and take pictures of it. It can take pictures, but it can't sit there and take the thing and move it. I can probably move it around a little bit, but getting people on the planet is a whole different ball game. You can really get into these things and, and dive into it and put it under a microscope, so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the reason why they're they're going up there is for that particular reason, not because they're going to try to do a, uh, you know, um, uh, have you know, like stop life on there or a habitat up there. They're going to literally be living in these structures or rebuilding them and then eyeballing everything about this ancient civilization, the civilization, this past one. So anyway, let's get back into this a little bit more. And I'm going to do it a black and white and blur it up a little bit so I can really zoom into this photo. And my God, this thing clearly is not a rock. I mean, look at this. Show me anywhere around here that has a rock that looks just like that. Nowhere. At all. I mean, there is something right here on this part right here. I don't know if you guys can see the mouse in the lower left corner. Something right there. That's not a rock. A lot of these rocks, guys, are being mimicked. Uh, you know, there's objects on the ground that are being mimicked uh, clearly as a rock, and it's not. They're using rock mimicking software to hide whatever the hell they want to hide in these photos, and this is a perfect example, although they did leave this one, uh, again, just for people to see. And if anybody's scrutinizing this photo, I think one other person's seen this, too. Um, since I've been doing this video, and I'm just going, what is going on here? Check this out. Black and white. I'm going to zoom in for everybody on the smaller screens. What the hell is that? So I'm going to do a black and white blur, kind of, you know, blur it up a little so it's not quite as grainy, and there you go. And then we're going to just show you the color one I, do, I did with the with the blur. And what is that, guys? Come on now. Isn't that? It appears to have legs or connections or part of a bracket, maybe, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think it is. You know you guys get the last take on this. You tell me what you think is going on. And you can, and, and you know, I mean, because, you know, I can only speculate to what it is. And as, again, I've said this a hundred times. There's no way to vet it. Uh, nobody can vet what they're seeing in these photos. But to me, this doesn't look like this at all. Does this look like a rock? It looks like, a, like I said, an, uh, one of those older CCD cameras that you see on the outside of businesses or some kind of weird. Uh, but that is a technology. It appears to be a technology and something, is it something that's, maybe it is a type of camera. And they can see what's going on on the, on the surface of, and a lot of people claim that the, the inhabitants, what's left over, could be living underground. Is this just one of their ways to have to t have a lookout on the top of the surface? Who knows? I don't know. Again, all pure speculation, guys. Can't be sure, can't vet it. So, but you guys can tell me what you think it is. I mean, this is just bizarre. So, and again... I'm going to just zoom into this for anybody who's on a smaller tablet. See, as soon as you hit the 600% or, I'm going to just see here. I think it's the 500%. You go over 500, you get all of that weird grain and everything else. But um, So 
Tell me what you think that is, guys. I mean, you can see it looks like it kind of goes like this. goes out, comes over, inward, comes o over a little bit, back out, and then has what looks like this eyepiece where it looks like bracketing or legs. There's something right there, too. I couldn't, I didn't keep going with that because I would have burned it away and it would have just completely defeated the purpose of trying to find out what's behind this obfuscation. So, but anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think this is, man. Tell me what you think this is. I'm going to back right out. Back out. And you can see whatever this is. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if you guys even know what that is. But clearly there's something. It looks like it kind of does this. It goes like this and back up to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But literally it's connected. Something looks like it's going like this and into the back of whatever this is. I don't think this is a rock at all. I think this is parts of machinery. I think this is, you know, and I don't think this stuff's been there that long. A lot of people speculate, oh, this stuff's probably been there for millions of years. I don't believe it has. Now, I'm not saying a civilization couldn't have been on Mars for millions of years or at least thousands of years, hundreds of years, at least, you know, like us, we have uh, intelligent human beings. And then, of course, we had Neanderthals um, and cavemen and so on and so forth. Um, and then we then we like, boom, something got switched on in our head. And all of a sudden, we're like building stuff and the technology up to today, what we got today. So anyway, guys, I mean, you tell me what you think. I mean, this doesn't look that old. I mean, this doesn't look like something that's been smashed to pieces. It doesn't look like it's, it looks like something, it looks like surveillance to me. That's what it looks like to me. Now, is it what that is? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't prove it. But I'll let you guys tell me what you think it is. And again, join us again on the, uh, on, uh, on our show there. Again, Saturdays, 4 p.m. Eastern time, Gigapan, Anomaly Hunting. That's what we do. And sometimes we're going to change it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. So, Check that out. Again, um, and, you know, of course, you adjust to your own time zone, so on and so forth. And you can jump over to my buddy Thomas's page, like I said, right here. And Mars Moon Space TV. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, I think you guys will like it a lot. So anyway, with that, guys, I'm going to let you guys rock and roll. Uh, I do have other videos coming out. Trust me when I tell you I do have them coming out. In fact, I, like I said, I've got uh, the next one. I think it's going to be the next one or the one after. Uh, it's going to be called When is a Butte Not a Butte? Um, also, and I hate to say this, guys, but I also have another Flat Earth video coming out. It's like a common sense video. And I know a lot of you guys are going, oh, my God, why do you waste your time with this? Here's the reason why I do it. Two things. One, we're up against NASA, at least trying to bring out what NASA is trying to hide in the photos. And two, whether it's NASA or the military, meaning higher up from um, NASA, I believe they're the ones that started this Flat Earth garbage. Because think about it. Again, I've said this before. If you make it look like it's flat Earth and there's no way we could put a rocket out into space, think about it. If you become entrenched in this and you believe it is so, that it's flat Earth, no rockets can get out, then all of this, what we're doing, me and as well as a ton of other people are doing, everybody's going to say it's fake, it's BS, we haven't even been out of, this, out, of the, out of the Earth's atmosphere. So we're up against two, two problems. So we got twice full, we're trying to fight and, and try to get people to say, hey, look, it's not flat, come on now. So... You know, unfortunately, if you see that, check it out, too, though, because it's just common sense video, and I think you guys will like it, too. Um, but, again, we're up against this. And so it's not just a NASA thing, and I believe it's, it may be NASA twofold, that they're trying to put this out there, throw this out there for people to bite on and go, oh, well, then it's, uh, you know, it's, it's fake. You know, and so clearly they can't have gone to the moon, and, and clearly they didn't go to, the, to Mars. Think about it, reverse psychology. If you believe that, you're not going to believe anything. You're not going to scrutinize NASA's photos. So, therefore, you go, oh, well, it's just crap. That's what they want. They don't want people. Again, they don't want critical thinking people looking at these videos. They don't want you scrutinizing these things. But I'll tell you what. I'm all over this stuff, guys. Rock and roll. Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below. Share the video, man. Share this video because it is important that it gets out. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. But, anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. You guys can... Um, like I said, leave a comment down below. You guys get the last word as to what this may be. Anyway, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Have yourself a good week, and we'll see you in the next video.